All right, so a lot of you have been asking me how to install TWRP on the K20 Pro, the Mi 11X and the Poco X3 Pro. So recently we made a dedicated video for the other two devices and today is the turn of the mighty Poco X3 Pro. It goes in line with the release of TWRP 3.6 official. This is the first official build, although it still doesn't support Android 12 encryption decryption, but it does allow you to flash quite a lot of ROMs, especially the ones which don't require fast boot. They require a TWRP flash. This should be working just fine. So we will We'll cover a complete step-by-step -step guide today including all the files linked in the description which should help you to get TWRP installed on your device. So before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think the hard work is worth the effort well you can click on the join button and support the channel. If you like chatting with like-minded people join us on telegram we have more than 1300 people over there we are present on Instagram Facebook and Twitter as well you can join us there. So without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so first the universal part which is common for almost all the Xiaomi devices when you are planning to flash a TWRP recovery. We will cover that part first and then we will come back to the device. Now, let's see here, so let me actually download it and show it to you, so we will google platform tools okay so download platform tools for android sdk manager you click on this link right now the latest is 31.0.3 and if you're using windows select this link over here say i'll save this to desktop and create a new folder called twrp okay and i'll save it in this folder okay now the next thing that we will do is we will google me flash tool right so let's download the official latest me flash tool from the google drive link that they have over here let's go here download okay let's click on save okay so these two files are downloaded now right now let's go to the main screen over here so now let's talk about this folder called twrp so the first thing that you'll do is you will extract platform tools you see this now click on this and select extract to and extract this to C drive or a drive of your choice and say name this anything say this is a flash folder for me right so I will name it flash and as you can see over here make sure there are no spaces over here I'll tell you why okay this is extracted now let's go to me flash tool extract this to the same folder let's go to c drive let's go to flash okay we've extracted both now let's go to c drive let's go to flash you have the platform tools and you have me flash over here okay now as you can see there is a me flash.exe over here and platform tools is available over here now the first thing that we will do is we will prepare the pc to allow unsigned drivers if you're doing this for the first time this is very very important so let's go to the home screen go to the start menu and select advanced startup options okay you see this change advanced startup options okay now we will select restart now so before that let's stop the recording over here okay so i think you can see this over here it might not show you clearly but i'll give you the instructions because i cannot record or i don't have a separate camera setup to show you this anyway so let's click on restart now so your windows will restart depending on the hardware you have we have a relatively decent uh, processor 5600x so it should restart really quick okay now over here click on troubleshoot and then select advanced options okay now over here select startup settings you will get this prompt so select restart now when we come back it will give us a list of big fonts what exactly do you want to do in advanced startup the key item that we need to select here is F7 disable driver signature enforcement okay F7 disables driver signature enforcement so we will select F7 there we go all right so now we've restarted with disable driver signature enforcement remember so what we'll do is we will go to C drive over here okay and we will go to our flash folder go to the MI flash folder and open this over here select yes right 
Now, ideally, it should automatically display over here that you need to install the drivers if you're doing this for the first time. As I've already done it, it is not showing me that screen. So we will go to driver. You see this? Select on install. It will give you a pop-up like this. Install this anyway. Once again. Once again. And then you're done. Now that you've prepared the PC to flash everything, we need to prepare the device. As you can see over here, this is TWRP 3.6.11 and this is a POCO X3 Pro running a custom ROM that is Xiaomi.eu. It is basically on MIUI. Now there are a few things that you need to take care of, of course. You need to make sure you have an unlocked bootloader. You need to ensure you have more than 50% battery and things like a computer, a USB cable are basic requirements and I've also shown you how to install platform tools and get the drivers working. Now, considering that you've taken care of all of those, we will put the device in fast boot mode and then we will check if the device is detected on the computer. Now, press and hold volume down and power to go into fast boot mode. There you go. We are in fast boot mode. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect the device to the computer. All right, so now we've connected the POCO X3 Pro to the computer. The first way to check that is go to device manager and see over here, you don't have an exclamation mark or a question mark. That means your drivers are detected and the phone is detected just fine. Now, remember the flash folder we created? I did it in C drive. You see this particular folder and over here we have platform tools, right? Now, what we need to do here is the recovery that you downloaded. For me, I downloaded it into this folder called gadgets and then bhima recoveries this is the img file copy this from here and paste it to your platform tools folder there you go paste it here okay now go to the address bar and type in cmd hit enter and check if it is detected fast boot space devices there you go, the device is detected. Now we need to run a command, fast boot space flash space recovery, drag and drop this file over here and hit enter. Okay, now the moment you say finished over here, you see this, you can go ahead and disconnect the device from the computer and I'll show you the remaining process. All right, now the recovery has been flashed. So press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. Now you can disconnect the USB cable because the flashing has gone just fine. There you go, release the buttons now. There you have it. You have booted into TWRP and you should not have any problems flashing Majesk or anything else, all right? So we have TWRP, let's go to reboot and let's select recovery to make sure that recovery sticks and then we will boot into the ROM and boot back into TWRP to ensure that everything is working as expected. There you go, we do have TWRP here. Now, one thing to note over here, if you have not removed your lock screen password and stuff, it will ask you that over here. So you can enter that and the device will get decrypted. As you can see, you will not lose any data. Now go to reboot and select system. We are booting into the ROM now to make sure that the ROM is fine, your data is fine. And then we will boot back into TWRP to ensure that the flash has gone smoothly. Okay, we booted into the ROM just fine and see that I'm using the same password that I used in TWRP. Now we can reboot once again and press and hold volume up in power. This will give us a clarity if TWRP flash is successful or not, or it is sticking after reboot. Because a lot of time on stock ROMs, what happens is uh, it overrides the recovery with the stock recovery. There you go, you have TWRP. So that's it guys, that was a quick step-by-step -step detailed guide of how to install the latest TWRP official 3.6 on the POCO X3 Pro. Let me know if this particular video helped you or not. And until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.